Alright guys, so here is the Sumo Crawler Transfer Case mod. Uh, what you are going to have to do to, for this mod is get a 32 48 pitch pinion gear. It's going to be the one with a 3.17 millimeter hole, the one that you would use on a 540 motor. Uh, the reason for this specific size is the one that uh, meshes perfectly with the bottom gear. By doing this, you have a much bigger surface area, contacting that bottom gear, alleviating the problem of stripping out that plastic gear. The center gear, like most people have had issues with that one because it's so small and there's such a small area. When you run that kind of setup, you break that gear a lot, you can strip out the teeth on it. This gear has a lot bigger surface area and it's not going to strip it. Now one side effect of this is that because you don't have that center gear, to do the transfer of power, you're going to have to resolder your cables in the reverse um, setup because your sumo is going to go backwards when you want it to go forwards if you don't do that. That's because one gear is going one way and the other the other. The center, guy used, the center one used to um, cancel that out. Now, with this 30 tooth gear, you're going to speed up your sumo. Uh, side effects of that, uh, one, of course, more speed. Two is less torque. So if you're going to do this mod, you have to have a bigger motor, stronger motor, and slower motor. So for this setup, what I've used is the one that I've used in the past, the 150 RPM motor. That motor, um, or 160, whichever one you choose to get, uh, that motor is going to have the most torque to compensate for the increased speed. Now again, you're not going to end up with the ridiculous amount of port, uh, torque you were having with that motor by itself with the other transfer case setup, but it's going to have enough torque to get you to where you have to go with your sumo crawler. Now, is it going to be strong enough to handle those really big my claw tires? I seriously doubt it. They're really big, they're really heavy, they're just the rotation on that tire is going to take away a lot of the torque from this guy. So, we're going to have to look at um, maybe looking for another motor or slower transmission or maybe trying that um, lossy motor into the sumo transmission mod that my buddy's been working on. Um, but I don't know, this uh, mod is going to save you a lot of trouble because as most of you know, getting that center gear without actually getting this transmission is practically impossible. So getting a pinion, a 32 pinion is going to be a lot easier. Uh, you want to get the lightest pinion you can. This is a metal pinion. I should have gone with aluminum, but I didn't have one at hand to test it. So if you guys can get an aluminum pinion gear, you'll be better off because of the lower inertial weight. It's going to take less power from the motor, which in turn will be more strength at the wheel. For this, you're going to have to cut or um, trim some of the material off of the transfer case itself because this gear as you can see is wider than the case now you don't have to take out the whole piece like I did here the whole front piece you can actually keep your post just trimming down like I did here and also in the front and you want to drill a hole this size so it'll go across to the front of the transfer case because you don't have a hole like at the bottom here but you can keep the front plate and the two uh, post in the front so they can hold on to these two holes here. It'll give you more stability. You want to tri uh, trim all the way back to where this gear is sitting right on the brass uh, shim that goes here originally behind the gear that comes from the Sumo. Now you want that to be right on it. You don't want it to be too far forward because if it is too far forward this gear is not going to mesh correctly with the bottom gear. You want it right on that uh, shim. So these teeth all line up perfectly with the teeth on the bottom gear. So you can see right there that shiny spot in front of that black spot. That's the ball bearing. That ball bearing is going to get in the way if you put this pinion too far forward. The black, that's the plastic gear in there. I don't know if you can see it move. You can kind of see it move in there. That means that this pinion gear is meshing perfectly down there. You can go with a 29 tooth pinion if you want it to be a little looser and loose, uh, and don't lose so much torque. 
and the transfer of power, but the 29 tooth pinion is going to make it easier for you to strip that bottom pinion. Uh, 30 tooth is perfect, 31 is too big, it's not going to mesh correctly, it's going to be too tight, and it's going to grind away at that plastic gear. Uh, on another subject, this top part, I know you guys have noticed that I, I cut some of it off. This is so that this part will fit inside of that new chassis that I designed. Uh, you're going to have to cut it right here at this level, right in front of the front two bolts so that it doesn't stick out of the cab, that little cab, the LiPo cab that I created. So other than that, uh, this transfer case mod will pretty much keep your transfer case living forever. I don't see a way that you'll be able to strip those gears, not with the amount of torque that you're putting out with these uh, motors. Um, now that's not to say it's indestructible. If we get a new motor that'll be stronger and faster, you might be able to strip it. But for now, this is pretty much the bulletproof mod that you want to do to your sumo crawler. Alright, that's what it looks like. I want to show you that it does actually work. You can see it turns pretty freely. Again, I strongly suggest just go with the 30 teeth, 48 pitch pinion gear. Same gear you would get for a 540 motor with a 3.17 um, shaft. Alright, there you go. Hope this helps you guys out. Thanks for watching.